Hi everyone, hmm. two videos in one day I think, this is a, uh... no it's not in the record, <laughs> joking aside, um, I did show off this guy last video, near the end, I picked him up for $10, this is the Black Dragon Rhyming, 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 whatever, but that's how he's going to look when painted. This guy is primed along with the skull and bones. And I can actually get the paint set needed. So I'm gonna invest in something to actually, so I can actually see the detail on where I'm painting. And take video of me painting this guy. I mean, all the rocks it needs is just, um, what is it? The darker grey by the looks of things, which I can get from the first painting set. Um, we'll set that box aside. My dice bag. Okay, this is purple fake fox suede. So I've got all my, I got my two sets of dice, the starter set and the set I brought. Which goes in this bag. They're in there, but I am going to tip out. I'm going to tip them out because I only need what one set for what I am about to show. Because this was from last year, one of last year's loot crates from Loot Crate itself. To all you Dungeons and Dragons fans out there. Yeah, this is the Castle Dice Tower from Dungeons and Dragons Loot Crate. Now this is, it's a Loot Crate exclusive. This cost me $15 with $15 postage. I wasn't paying, what was it? $40 to, with about 10 to $15 postage on Dice towers themselves, like the ones you can actually make up and such from MDF. But so yeah, the packaging. We do actually have a very nice exclusive dice here. We have a D20 black with white. My desk ain't stable because this is actually supposed to be sitting flat. And this is actually made from PVC. Not PVC, um. It's some sort of plastic, that's all I know. It's plastic that was molded. Let's just let's get years in there. Look at that detail on that dragon itself. That dragon's not very nicely detailed, along with the castle itself. We actually have Dungeons & Dragons logo in the bottom of the tray. On top, we have three holes for the dice. I actually tested the tower. So that's the D12. It just went through. I throw the D20 in. Okay, that went through. Can I throw? No, I can't throw a D6 in. Throw it. Yep, I can throw it in the back. And the same can be said for the... Others, because they do roll straight on in. And let me just get the other set out. The glow in the dark set looks better. So, here goes the D12. Doesn't actually roll out completely. The D20 just got stuck, so. And again, the D20 does get stuck. In the second tower, which means you can go D12, D20, 
that's the the uh, nine I think so that actually rolled perfectly that d6 the four because it's four sides one two three with the fourth side being flat and of course we have to have the other one go through the back there so roll the dice in that's actually a pretty nice tray i wonder if i can actually get it get it like blown up a bit more so that the tray is actually a little bit longer so it comes out to about here with this going back a bit back a bit to actually allow for more room and to actually have the dice come out in a better way instead of just the the um just hitting these little things down here. Give me D4. Ah, the D4 is always the hardest one to pick up. So, what do I love about the about this? The Castle Dice Tower. Well, pretty much came with an exclusive dice that I could actually sit. It's actually smaller than the other D20s that I do have. So, I'm just have the, showing the D20. Yeah, that is actually silver, not white. Anything else I like about this? Mainly the detail. I mean, the black wash is fine, just not around here. I mean, it does actually show off the the um, the brickwork. This was actually molded, so this wasn't all just the one piece, as you can see. And it's actually designed in Los Angeles, trademark and copyright 2019, Wizards of the Coast LLC, made in China. So, yeah. This will actually be going, like I said, I want to scale it, so the tray's out a bit more. The This is moved back to about here. So that we actually can have a better... About, about yay... Yeah, that yeah, about an inch or two on the sides, so that we actually can have a better dice tray, and that the dragon isn't exactly um, squashed in there like it is. I mean, you can virtually say it just squashed in there. It's, it's like, what were the designers thinking? Oh, let's make it small, and just squash a dragon right there. I mean, this will be a great centerpiece, but it is small, and that's the kind of problem. With something small, you tend to get people to nitpick and go, oh, I wish it was bigger for the tr for the dice tray. Out here by about one or two inches is the the, the whole thing back and wide, so the dragon's not squashed. I would love to see the dragon in a bit of detail. I mean, I could virtually just sand all this and repaint this myself. I mean, the dragon would probably be red. With grey. So it looks like it was weathered. I mean, you can probably put moss and such. You know, fake moss. All, all around the base here. Show it's being weathered and hasn't been used. I mean, these back tones should have been a bit more bigger. This should have been a whole lot more bigger. It was fine. 
it is fine for what I want it for. Because this is just going to be virtually the base of it. Of what I want. Because, I mean, you can virtually say that the torrents aren't exactly straight. The whole thing is, it's not exactly, it does not sit. I do mean it does not sit because it goes off the either side. That's my phone. Stupid text messages. So, what I'm gonna do, if I had a scanner, if I had a, like a free scanner, I would scan this. But I'm gonna have to take this somewhere that can actually do 3D scan and then go right I want to actually do it my way so pull 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 stretch and everything else until I actually have it the way I want it is I mean this is fine just really wish they would have taken the time instead of just banging this out quickly I do mean you're supposed to take your time when you're doing 3D modeling stuff just so it can actually go to the um to the printers and such to the printers or the injection molds so yeah there's actually um you can actually 3D print your own Dice Tower, which I might get done because there's a Castle Grayskull type one that I would love to do for myself. But let's just put this one away. I mean, it sits in, sorry about that noise. It sits in the plastic. Fine. Just. box art it's nice it just shows that how squash the whole thing is other than that it's like I said it's fine for what I need it to do it's gonna be used as a base for my own design and such so without further ado thank you for watching I'm not I'm not gonna nitpick about anything else so I am actually gonna try and paint this guy I'm actually going to try and get more dice and dice bags for my friends because this is mine. This is mine. This is going to be mine. These two set, the set, two sets in here are going to be mine to use. This figure is going to be painted once I get the paint. And new desk. desk that I like so I'm gonna I am looking at where the hutch is gonna sit at the moment so I'm gonna end here and let you guys enjoy whatever you want I'm gonna let you enjoy the rest of your morning Mid morning, afternoon, mid afternoon, evening, late evening, or midnight, or wherever you are. So, thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe on what I need for Dungeons and Dragons. I mean, I got the starter set, I've seen the wizard level, which is going to cost me a hundred dollars. That's fine because I mean, I can set this guy in it. I'm gonna set up. Um, I'm not sure about anything else really considering that this is going to be one this is my step into Dungeons and Dragons myself so I'm going to end here
here. Thank you for watching and everything else. Time for me to look at more Dungeons and Dragons stuff.